What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Weezing team, courtesy of Chawarzard. Thank you for making this, Chawarzard. Now, Weezing's ability neutralizing gas turns off abilities, but there's some abilities it doesn't work on, there's some ways to get around it, and there's some abilities you want to turn off, so that's how this team was built. First we've got Mycelium Might Toad Scroll. Mycelium Might makes its status moves like Spore go last, but with Neutralizing Gas, you can actually have the fastest Spore in the game with this guy right here. Uh, it also has Life Orb with just two stab moves, just so it can do some damage, because it's not the strongest Pokemon. We've also got Incineroar with Ability Shield. Ability Shield will, bro will block Neutralizing Gas, so you can actually intimidate stuff while their abilities are turned off, so you can intimidate a Defiant Pokemon or an Inner Focus Pokemon if you've got Weezing and Instant on the field. And then we also have Palafin. Zero to Hero is completely unaffected by neutralizing gas, so you're good. You can go ahead and swap out, become Hero Palafin. Weezing will never affect it. And to finish off this team, we've got this Choice Pantera Dragon Dragapult, which is super cool. <laughs> that does some damage. And Clear Body does get turned off, but so does it Opposing Intimidate, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. And Kilowattrel. Kilowattrel is a good Tailwind setter, and with Competitive, what you can do is you can trick them into bringing an Intimidate Mon, turn off their Intimidate with Weezing, but then if you swap Weezing, Intimidate would immediately activate, so you can position Kilowattrel to get the competitive boost when you want it to happen. But anyways, it seems like a really cool team. Lots of cool tech on here, Firewater Grass Core, Weezing is amazing into this meta, trust me. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to it. Okay, here we've got a team. Blood Moon Bear, Garganackle, Regular Arcanine, Amoongus, Grimmsnarl, and Corviknight. Pretty cool. Most of that was legal in Regulation A, but Blood Moon Bear is new. Ooh, Palafin has a little trouble with Amoongus. They have a Fairy and a Steel type for our dragon friend. Their abilities, their abilities. Their abilities getting turned off would be kind of nice, actually. Prevent screens going up with Prankster could be really good. Uh, prevent ghost moves from hitting Dragapult could also be good. Toad Scroll can spore most of those things it's faster than. Uh, I assume we have Taunt. We do have Taunt. Okay. I think I will go Weezing Palafin. Probably swap Palafin into Toad Scroll. I'm feeling Dragapult. I don't think I need Tailwind. I think Pult would be good. Uh, Incineroar is just okay. They got a lot of bulk on their team, so I want like powerful heavy hitters. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, I could also bring Kilowattrel specifically because Arcanine could intimidate me. If I, if I like put Weezing and Kilowattrel on the field, get Weezing out when Arcanine comes on the field, it'll trigger its Intimidate, trigger my competitive, get the boost. So that could have been a way to go too. And they got a trainer card. It's a trainer card. Nothing special. Ah uh, yeah, it is Ar- okay, it's Arcanine Grimmsnarl. Great. Could have done the Kilowattrel thing. All right. Well, we're gonna prevent screens. We're gonna taunt up the Grim Snarl, and then I don't think we have Flip Turn, right? No. So I'm just gonna go into Toad Scroll. Was my plan. I think there's a chance it's a Will O Wisp coming, so I don't want to go into Dragapult. So I'll just swap into Toad Scroll here. Uh, I guess I could have Gunk Shotted at the Grim Snarl. I don't know if that KOs, and <laughs> that's gonna miss. Oh, that thing looks cool. All right, cool shiny. Yeah, it was will o -Wisp. Called that correctly. Don't really care about a burn on Toad School. Yep, and we get the taunt before Grim can do anything. Block a screen, please. Yeah, no reflect for you. All right, now I'm thinking I want to get rid of Arcanine so I don't have to worry about burns. I could also Spore the Arcanine, but Goggles Arcanine's a thing. Though they have two Spore immunities already, I don't know if they would have Goggles there. But I think I'm happy to just throw Gunk Shot at Grim. 
Probably would just be a fire move with Toad Scroll. Pretty fast. Most Arcanines wouldn't go this fast. I'll Gunk Shark Shot Grim and just Earth Power Arcanine. Okay, they're a fast Arcanine. Sorry, Toad Scroll, no! <laughs> okay, that's okay. We get Palafin in. It's a very fast Arcanine they've got there. And Gunk Shot misses. Of course it does. Spirit Break will do nothing to us, though. Back to the Palafin! <laughs> okay, if Toad Scroll was slower, Palafin might not be, actually. But just to be safe, I should probably have taunted that Arcanine. So I'll taunt the Arcanine now and just protect Palafin. Because they're going to want to go for a Willow. Maybe even a Terra on Arcanine. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, there goes Grim, thinking he has nothing better to do. And in comes Corviknight. Okay, I'd like to throw a burn down on that. Alright. Oh, no Terra from the Arcanine is interesting. Yeah, just trying to will o wisp the Palafin. Fine by me. So now we get our beautiful Taunt. I should have probably gone for Taunt last turn. Got back into Palafin, but it's fine. Now we'll throw a Will O Wisp on Corviknight, and what's your wave crash switch in? Amoongus? That's basically it, yeah. Alright. I'll just wave crash. Should be pretty good. Uh, Corviknight could be faster, they could Terra the Arcanine. There's some things that could happen here. Yeah, Arcanine's getting the Terra into flying. That's interesting. I think maybe if I went Terra Water, I could get the KO. Maybe I should have done it. Oh, Extreme Speed does basically nothing. They're probably super bulky, though. Oh, Wave Crash gets the KO anyway. Oh, they're not that bulky. And they're not that strong. Okay, I was worried about Arcanine for no reason. <laughs> Terra Flying is interesting. Do they have an Earthquake user? Ooh, and we're faster and get the Will O Wisp. That's great. Now, as long as they don't go for Tailwind. Iron Defense, yeah, fine. Who cares? Um, I cares, actually. The, the Will-O-Wisp will trip them down a bit, but they could have Leftovers, they could have Roost. They're gonna be annoying on the defensive side, they just don't have any damage output now. Because Will-O-Wisp does have the damage from Body Press. Ah, Namungus. Taunting you. Grimstar last. Okay, yeah. Taunt the Amoongus. I'm gonna haze away your defense boost on Corviknight before I hit you. Yeah, because you're probably gonna Rage Powder anyway. Trying to keep the water moves away. If I get rid of your defense boost, taunt your Amoongus. Now you can't Rage Powder and you don't have the defense boost. Well, you might go and grab another one here. Nope, just a body press. That should do nothing now. Perfect. And they are leftovers, Corviknight. Okay. Let's throw a big mean wave crash at that Corviknight. Get that thing out of here. And also, Will O Wisp the Amoongus for some chip over time? Or just hit it with a Gunk Shot to do some damage now? I think Gunk Shot for some damage now. Terra Water. Get this Corviknight out of here. They're not swapping into Grim. We know our our Palafin's faster. And we know this is gonna hurt. This is not max attack, but a lot of attack. With Terra Water and Mystic Water from a 160 base attack Pokemon. That's more attack than Groudon. And Corviknight is deleted. Yeah, that's a delete button right there. This thing's stronger than Urshifu, just so you know. 
I did a lot of recoil though, oh no. Alright, that's a decent chip. And does that take out? Yes it does. Alright. That's actually a little bit annoying. Means we're gonna have to hit a gunk shot on the Grim Snarl eventually. Because I think I want to lock into a dragon move, but it's not a waste. Yeah, I think I just gunk shot Grim, and I could throw dragon darts over at Amoongus. I guess I could just do Phantom Force at Amoongus. How's that taunt looking? Two, tur two whole turns of taunt, yeah. Alright, I will Willow Grim. Phantom Force and Lingus. I guess I shouldn't lock into something that one of their Pokemon's immune to. Fine. And I don't expect anything to even hit Weezing this turn. I guess they could side Pollen Puff. Yeah, Spirit Break into Dragapult. Saw that coming. Pollen Puff into Dragapult. Yep. We got out of there just in time. And now Phantom Force, I think, will take Amoongus. And then Gunk Shot should take Grimstarl when I eventually hit. They had a chance to set up Reflect there. I didn't taunt them. But now it's too late. Weezing just been sitting on this field. Oh, Amoongus barely lives. Well done, Amoongus. And it's not Rocky Helmet Amoongus, okay. I was more worried about Rocky Helmet Amoongus hurting the Palafin. Gunk shot misses too. Hang on, this ain't over. There's your spirit break. Which gets a special attack drop, which I'm not using. <laughs> and just healing up, okay. That's all you had to really be able to do. Alright, Amoongus shakes off the taunt. I guess they could spore my wheezing now. But I'm gonna Gunk Shot Grim and Phantom Force Amoongus again. Oh, I see. Rage Powder. That way I Gunk Shot towards the Amoongus. But that means I still get a Phantom Force toward you next. It's fine. Does this take out? Yes, it does. Fine. I was gonna Phantom Force your Grim eventually anyway. And Reflect? Yep, that's the right play. We've seen Reflect, Spirit Break. I assume Light Screen as well. But who knows what else. I only have four more Gunk Shots. <laughs> uh, am I worried about something like Thunder Wave? No. I'll just Gunk Shot. They're definitely gonna Spirit Break the Dragon Bolt this turn. That does decent chip. And finally, we hit a Gunk Shot. Oh yeah, this Grim's almost done. Thunder, it was Thunder Wave, but it missed. <laughs> oh, you aimed at the Weezing? Nah, Phantom Force was gonna take you out next anyway. Gunk Shot, Phantom Force, battle is cancelled, GG. They put up a good fight, but Weezing just shut them down. Okay, we- whoa. Okay, Water Span- oh, that's an Urshifu? Uh, Urshifu is not allowed, but maybe they just won't bring it. They know- they know this is Reg Age. Urshifu, Palmot, Floatzel, we're gonna ignore the Urshifu, Swampert, and Basket Legion. Okay. A few things I can Thunderbolt, but then a couple immunities to Thunderbolt. Uh, Palafin could be pretty good, just water v water. I could prevent rain from going up at all with Weezing though, which is amazing. And then where's their Dragon Resist? They have none, so... I prevent rain making their Pokemon faster than me, and then I Dragon Darts everything. Yeah. Uh, I think Intimidate would be pretty good, but I don't know about Incineroar specifically. <laughs> I do like Intimidate though. So I'll do Intimidate, and then either Toad Scroll, you got a Grass Move, got Energy Ball. I'll take it. Is that better than Kilowatt Roll? I don't know, I might like Kilowattro better. Yeah, I think
think I'm liking I'm liking Kilowattril better because like Toadstool doesn't actually resist water. Neither does Kilowattril, but Kilowattril's faster. There's a couple Pokemon there that can be faster than Toadscrool, but not Kilowattril. Plus Tailwind might help my other stuff. Oh, I got all the pommies! Alright. Yep. Floatzel Pelipper. Let's turn that off. And let's blow stuff up. No rain for you. Well, I don't want to swap out Weezing. I think Choice Band Terra Dragon Dragon Darts might get the double KO. I wish Weezing got help in hand. That'd be so strong. I think I'll just protect. And then Terra Dragon Dragon Darts. I think that's fine, because I think if they do attack, it'll be after Weezing with like Wave Crash Floatzel if that hangs on. The, the Dragon Hat is so silly. I, I, I could have like thrown a gun shot or something. I don't think Weezing's particularly threatening. Ooh, almost on Floatzel. Pelipper Plant takes it then. Yeah. Ooh, it was a nice spinner. Ouch. That KOs. Oh no. With a crit. Okay. Well, at least you still don't get your weather. And what are you gonna do? Tailwind? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I can Incin and I can Fake Out. And Pelipper's water move is usually Weather Ball, so it doesn't have a water move. So I can fake out Floatzel and Gunk Shot Pelipper. And even if Floatzel gets away with some, like, Terra Ghost or something, shouldn't it? Oh, Wide Guard? Um. No, not using a spread move. It's fine. Yeah, they probably just didn't have anything better to do because their hurricanes won't hit and their weather ball's normal. And we connect Gunk Shot. Get out of here. Poison, please. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I was actually okay with Pelipper surviving there. Getting the poison actually might hurt me in the long run. Alright, we traded Dragapult and Terra to get two KOs and prevent rain. Uh, I guess it's worth it. We're in a little bit of an awkward position, though. They've got Tailwind. We don't have Terra. We've got a Fire-type here. Oh, it's a Palmot. Oh, they could revive something. Oh, they brought Urshifu. That's not cool. Let's Will-O-Wisp that. I guess hit it with a knockoff, but Urshifu, Urshifu's just gonna take my Incineroar. Urshifu's not fair. You weren't supposed to bring that. That's not legal in Reg Age. Fighting Terra. Oh. Okay. That's unusual. Yeah, who are you reviving? Pelipper or Floatzel? Take your pick. You only get one. Go ahead and pick. I don't know which one that is. Yeah, Surging Strikes into Ensign, that's plenty. Because of course it is. This Ensign isn't EV to survive something like that because that doesn't exist in Reg Age. At least give me the Will-O-Wisp, right? Thank you. <sighs> Urshifu, Urshifu. And no protect on this kilowatt roll.
One turn of Tailwind from them. I'll try to burn Palmot. But if they just double into Kilowattril, there's really, really nothing I can do about it. I will Air Slash the Urshifu. Uh, nuzzle into Weezing. Okay. Kilowattril might be able to take a Burn Surging Strikes. Oh, it's into Weezing. Okay. We're in business now. That's not so bad. Especially if I get the burn on Palmot. Get out of here, Ursh. You're not supposed to be in this game. If you were like a Palafin, you would have had to swap out. You wouldn't have had time with all this Tailwind. And we get the Will-O-Wisp. Beautiful. Alright, they've got Nuzzle and Revival Blessing. Could have a Fighting move and an Electric move. Maybe. Maybe Ice Punch. I don't know. Either way, the best they can do is probably break Kilowattril Sash. And it doesn't matter who's on that side, because it's going to get Thunderbolted. It was Pelipper, but you're still not getting rain. Okay. Gunk shot the Palmot. Thunderbolt the Pelipper. We've, saw, we've seen it has Tailwind and Wide Guard. It probably does not have Protect. Are we going to be able to do it? Are we going to be able to beat Urshifu? It has Tailwind, Wide Guard, and Protect? Okay, that's crazy. That is kind of crazy. Do you only have Hurricane or only a Water move? <laughs> yeah, you're really struggling to do damage, Palmot. And I can do damage back. Ooh, big damage. Palmot is not long for this world. Alright, so we just Thunderbolt the Pelipper again and go for another gun shot. No big deal. I personally prefer Sludge Bomb on Weezing, but I get it, because, like, Gunk Shot does a lot more damage. Yep, Pelipper's gone. Never had a chance. And Nuzzle just to break Yeah, you're never going to be able to KO Kill a lot with that. And Gunk Shot misses. Yeah, see, two Sludge Bombs would have KO'd it. Uh, but it goes down to burn anyway, it looks like. Yep, alright, GG. Well, yeah, GG. You brought Urshifu, which, which is a little bit cheating, but it worked out. Well, hello there, Mr. Snorlax. Why did you not bring a Snorlax? Uh, you did bring a Belly Bolt, that's cool. King Gambit, Annihilate, Bruxish, Dragonite, and Grimmsnarl. Definitely some stuff I can shut down with Weezing, so Weezing's great. Uh, maybe even Toad Scroll. I guess I'm a little worried about Annihilate, like Final Gambiting, but I have a Ghost in the back. And if it's not Final Gambit Ape, I can do the funny thing of having Weezing and Incineroar come out and intimidate them despite their Defiant. Ooh, I really like Incineroar. Because they've got Defiant, Defiant, Inner Focus. I can turn all that off and intimidate them. And they're not going to be ready for it. In fact, maybe I lead Incin? No, that's too... Passive almost. Toad Scroll, Incineroar, and then a sweeper of some kind. Do I like Palafin here? I don't love Palafin here. I love I like Dragapult, I think. As long as I can get rid of Grim Snarl and King Gambit. Yeah, I think that'll work. Because Grim Snarl and King Gambit, they don't want to see Toad Scroll wheezing. I can even intimidate the King Gambit if I need to. I can burn all the physical attackers they got. That's a cool card. Well done, Mr. Snorlax. Annihilate and Corrupt. I don't know what that is about. Uh, is this a Final Gambit Trick Room? Maybe. I could double protect on that if it is. I could double protect the scout out the final gambit. Protect, protect. But who knows what's gonna happen here? <laughs> it, it feels like final gambit to me. It could all, it could easily be something crazier though. 
Uh, it's just Psychic Fangs into Weezing. And a bulk up. Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's Terra Dark Will O Wisp to annihilate. So avoid the Psychic Fangs, get the burn on Annihilate. And then I'll just throw Energy Ball over onto Bruxish. Oh. They baited me. I thought for sure it was a final Gambit Annihilate, but nope. Free Bulk Up. Well done. Could spore them with, with Toad Scroll, but I think the burn is more important. And then, like, yeah, I could maybe take a Psychic Fangs with Weezing. But I'd rather just go for the Terra here. Take no damage, get rid of Bruxish. Oh, we're faster anyway. But it's Sash. Okay, so the Terra's still good. And, oh, we're faster with, than both with Weezing. Okay, I do think it's a Trick Room team then. Because they've got really slow Pokemon. Yep, Psychic Fangs gets ignored. Nuh uh. And Brain Punch into Toad Scroll does a decent amount for being burned. Wow. Okay. could bring in Incin on this slot. I think they would probably try to Drain Punch Weezing. But then I could also just throw an attack at Annihilate. Protect and... Earth Power? I think that's fine. Uh, here's a Terra, for some reason. What's that gonna be? Fighting Terra. Okay. I kind of like that because now Incineroar can take you out. So I don't like giving you boosted Rage Fists. Alright, come on. Big Earth Power. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. I'll take it. Brain Punch into the Weezing. Thank you. Perfect. And ooh, a Trick Room. Not perfect. <laughs> but no, we can play around this, because now they want to Drain Punch Weezing. They're slower than Weezing. They want to Drain Punch it so we can go into Dragapult to ignore the Drain Punch. And get an Incineroar for an Intimidate. Yeah, Weezing will swap second. Incin will swap first, get the Intimidate, then Weezing swaps. Because Weezing is slower. But it's Trick Room, so Weezing will swap first. Okay, so that doesn't work. Swap to Dragapult. Energy Ball Bruxer. I think to I think Toad Squirrel is just getting taken out this time. Ooh, a Rage Fist call. Oh no. Oh, oh no. That's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> and then a Wave Crash. Oh, that's going to be a double down at least. Annihilate going crazy in this trick room here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Even with the burn, it's still going crazy. Okay. Well, now I can get the Intimidate down on you at least. Doesn't matter which order I put these in. Weezing's ability is going to trigger first. They've got Grim Snarl. That's good to see. Go, no, uh, the teary eyed. <laughs> All right, intimidate them. 
Because of the ability shield. Yep. Uh-huh. You get intimidated. Alright. We are 123. Annihilate is definitely the slowest thing on the field. Because this is a pretty fast Incineroar. Very fast Incineroar. So we're going to go for Fake Out into Annihilate. And Gunk Shot into Annihilate. Who protects? Of course. Probably the right play. And now a terrifying Drain Punch is coming at somebody. And that's not good. And they get their Reflect. Uh, well, since we have Protect on Weezing, but probably don't have it on Incineroar, I think they target Incineroar. So I think Flare Blitz into Annihilate and Gunk Shot into Annihilate. There's a Spirit Break. Does decent damage, actually. It's not looking good for us. Annihilate is that good. Who are you hitting? Oh, we could have protected! No! I thought for sure... Oh, and it's a crit, too. Oh, we got no shot. We need to crit them back with this Flare Blitz to have a chance. Oh, Annihilate is going in. Alright, come on. Crit, 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 crit. That's not a crit. Neutral, Terrifying Drain Punch... Might be able to live one. How much Spare Break do? Oh, that- oh, there's the crit! I needed that, not you! <laughs> oh, you crit my wheezing too, didn't you? Okay. Yeah, well... That's a lesson to you all. Annihilate is that good. <laughs> uh, I'll usually root for an Annihilate doing something like that, but uh, it happened to me, so... Good call on the Rage Fist swap, though. GG's. Alright, we've got Reg H here with Venacol. Uh, they also have Dusclops, Slow King, Mindshow, and King Gambit. Looks like mostly a Trick Room team. Weezing would be good at shutting down Trick Room, but we have no way around Fake Out. We have our own Fake Out, but it's slower than their Fake Out. But I guess that could work. Uh, Weezing Toad Scroll actually should work, because they can only Fake Out one thing, and then they either get Spored or Taunted. They could be goggles on the Slow King, but Dust Bops would never be goggles. Slow King has Oblivious, right? But it doesn't because of neutralizing gas. Perfect. Alright, so that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop Trick Room. Then, not Palafin, because Sun's gonna be up, maybe. Again, I could just block Sun from going up. I like Dragapult. It's faster than their whole team. King Gambit's a little scary, though. So maybe Incineroar? I'm not loving Kilowattrol. Palafin seems okay, honestly, but I would need to lead it, and I don't want to lead it. So I think those are the right four. I think if we stop Trick Room and keep up some offensive pressure, we should be good. Because we could stop Trick Room, but then, then they just out-trade us. They got some pretty strong Pokemon. Mind Shao Dust Pops. Okay, they're going for the fake out into Trick Room play. Fine by me. You will get taunted or spored. Dust Pops is not getting away with it. Not this turn, at least. And then we'll have to worry about Mind Shao, because Mind Shao is good too. I've done well with a Mind Shao. 
Though it helps- Oh, the texture on Dusclops looks great in this game. But well, Mineshot does have to worry about Intimidate and Fake Out when Weezing's on the field. Okay, a swap from Dusclops. They know they were pinned there. Slowking. Your Slowking's gonna get taunted or spored too. Spored it is. They were goggles? Ooh, if they had just gone with that lead, they would have been set. Alright, I'm gonna taunt the Slow King now. And. Should I spore Mind Chow or should I attack it? I think sporing it's better, it could swap. Yeah, I think I would rather spore it. Now, if this Slow King just pulls out an attack, like either Ice Beam or Psychic, that would be a little annoying. There goes our Citrus Berry. And good night, Mind Chow. And since you moved first, you don't get uh, a free turn to wake up. You're guaranteed this next turn to be asleep. Scald into Weezing. Okay, you really want Weezing gone. I get it. Let's go ahead and double the Slow King. Gunk Shot, Energy Ball. Since Mind is guaranteed to be asleep this turn. If we connect both these moves, we'd probably take out Slow King. Energy Ball should do a good chunk. Oh, I was hoping for more. Actually, it probably takes the, the Gunk Shot then. Yeah, it does. Huh, okay. Ow. Alright, time to get in darts. Darts should do pretty good. I would be worried about a wake up knockoff, so I could Terra Dragon here. And then finish off Mind Shao with either Energy Ball or Earth Power. Earth Power, I think, is better against any possible switches. Yeah, Terra Dragon, just so that if it wakes up after one turn of sleep and goes for knockoff, it shouldn't be able to KO my Dragon Bolt. A swap on Slowking. Into Dust Pops. I'm happy to hit Dust Pops. Ah, oh, you're frisking my items. Okay. Well, you know about my choice ban now. You know this is about to hurt now. And now you see this, you know it's gonna hurt a lot. It's not gonna take out Dust. It's never gonna take out Dust Clouds. Dust Clouds is too bulky. All right, Mind Chow doesn't go for any priority like the tech. Good damage into Dust Clouds. Really good damage into Mind Chow. If it wasn't Sash, that would KO'd. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be Sash, but it's gonna be Sash, of course. But it stays asleep. That's perfect. Perfectly happy with that. Now I can score Dusclops and throw another Dragon Darts, KOing your Slow King if you bring that in. If you bring in your fourth Pokemon, we'll see. It is Slow King, yeah. Unless you've got Terra Fairy somewhere, you're in trouble. Because Dragon Darts, I'm pretty sure, takes out Slow King. And then I can score Dusclops. It's Regenerator Slow King, too. Wow. Regenerator is interesting because it actually works on neutralizing gas. Because you're swapping out, you're no longer on the field, so you have your ability. But it swapped out after Weezing went down anyway, so that interaction didn't even happen. Terra, you got fairy somewhere? Or grass dust claps, maybe? It's Fairy Slow King! No! <laughs> oh no! We know it has safety goggles, so this spore is gonna do nothing into Slow King. Uh oh. Are you attacking or are you. You are attacking. Interesting. 
No trick room there. Okay, we're not out of it then. That crown is so big. Ooh, Torkoal. Probably should have trick room then. Yeah, I'll bring in Incineroar. That seems fine. And then I'll... I go for Earth Power into Torkoal. And they protect Trick Room. I have a fake out turn, so it's probably fine. We saw how much Energy Ball did to Slow King. We're not going to Oko Slow King, no matter what. So I think I'm willing to go for Earth Power on Torkoal, even though there's a very good chance it protects. <laughs> the next turn, as long as Slow King can't Oko Toad Scroll, we should be able to get Fake Out Earth Power into Torkoal again. <clears throat> yep, of course it protects. Earth Power blocked. And then do you even Trick Room? You must Trick Room. Yeah, there's Trick Room. Alright, hopefully Slow King can't Oko my Toad Scroll. We know they have Scald and Psychic. I don't think either of those will do it. Toad Scroll has good special defense. Fake out. Earth power. Go for a double protect on Torkoal. That's the right play, I think. Because you know you can't Oko my Toad Scroll. Still gonna try. Yeah, not even close. Perfect. Get out of here. Yeah, that's game. Woo! That was a tough one versus some very cool Pokemon. Terra Fairy. I should have known. Should have known. Alright, Flare Blitz will do it. And then Earth Power. GG. Very well played. And we are back. Weezing is really good. Like, don't be sleeping on Weezing. Weezing's a powerful mon just on its own as support. Oh, I also think Palafin did great, Dragapult did great, Toad Scroll. I wish Toad Scroll didn't have the stats of a Tentacruel, because Tentacruel just doesn't have good stats. Uh, but it's still, it's a cool tech. Go ahead and try to get some fast spores off. I never really got into a situation where a super fast spore was necessary, uh, but it was still cool. A anyways, I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>